Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Lauren Meeker here uh, in Houston. Sorry, I'm not in Houston, I'm in San Antonio with Houston guests today. How dare I mess that up? It's already going so well. Um, I, uh, as always, am here for Beyond the Production, our weekly Friday live interview series. And of course, as per usual, I am joined by our music director, Francesco Miliotto. Hi, Francesco, how are you Hi, today? Lauren. I'm great, how are you, Lauren? Apparently, I got so excited that I'm in Houston today. That's how yes. awesome my day is going. <laughs> and you're, of course, joining us from uh, Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. How, how are things in Chicago? Chicago? Things are great. The sun kind of comes in and out, so I might have to adjust my light. You a will look bit, fabulous, but... I have no doubt. I, I, so I, we've lined up some awesome guests today that I know you and I are super excited to have with us. Yeah. And we have a very special way to introduce those folks to you today. Yeah, we do. <laughs> I'm going to start with that very special introduction and then we'll go from there. Sound like a good plan? Fabulous. Thank you. watching oh you laugh, uh, <laughs> Francesco, at watching these guys. It's so true. without further ado, let me pull them in. Here we go. Oh, oh hey, Tia. Oh, hey, hey, oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, oh, no. Got it. Check. <laughs> Oh I think God, the video Kyle. is working, yeah? Oh my God, <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my okay, God. so let me officially introduce, for folks who might not know, <laughs> joining us who are actually in Houston, I'm getting my locations correct now, mm -hmm. Kyle Albertson, which for anybody who doesn't know Kyle, he was originally engaged to be with OSA for Monterone this spring. Womp womp. Yeah. Also with him is Alyssa Anderson, who, mm -hmm. uh, uh, folks in San Antonio might remember she played Marta in Faust a couple of seasons ago. Welcome, Alyssa. Yeah. And also uh, joining us this afternoon because self-quarantining together, gang, we have Arthur Bossard, who is a fabulous pianist. Welcome, team. Hi. Hi. Do you regret this yet? Yeah, do you regret this yet? Do you regret I, this? I don't regret it. They will. <laughs> Give us time. Give us time. And in fact, what I will say is that, and I hope I'm not jinxing anything, I have to say even just from preparing to the interview yesterday and looking through things today and looking at your videos, I am so thrilled that you are all uh, so buoyant and hilarious and spirited because boy, do we need that in our lives right now. <laughs> I don't know how you're doing it. We live to entertain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're not right. known for our musicality. It's for our <laughs> professional idiocy. Yeah. yeah. And do you guys, I love it. Do you guys dress like this every day? Absolutely. You, yeah. this, I have yeah. not worn anything but a suit for three months. This exact suit <laughs> the entire time. No, I'm wearing Alyssa's stretchy pants right now. So, <laughs> Wow. I wore my stretchiest gown. Yeah. I'm, so I'm, tough yeah, times I'm call for tough suit. measures. <laughs> So um, oh my God. We, as you guys know, we, we're live. So obviously we have a lot of folks watching, which is great. And some folks who are chiming in with questions of their own already. Oh James is saying, <laughs> yeah, James Thanks. is saying, was that a Swiffer wet jet he was brandishing? And yes, I think it the answer is yes. Yes, it was. When you don't have a professional, you know, Props yes. department. Vote yeah. on spear. You're going to use what you got in quarantine. This is stage management and the props department right here. Yeah, so. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Lighting. We are we are limited by our budget. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you work with what you got. You yeah. definitely do. Okay, so I know you're all in Houston now, but I want to give folks who are watching a little uh, more background information on where you all are from and how you all came to be together now. And I have a self-confession moment, which is to say that I didn't realize that Alyssa called San Antonio a bit of her hometown background until you posted about the interview <laughs> online. I thought, oh my gosh, I missed this 
big epic moment in Alyssa's life and look at me here now in San Antonio. Alyssa, when were you living here? Uh, my family moved there in 1992. Um, so we, and up until about 2016, uh, my mother was there. Um, but so I, I moved away from college in 1998 and kind of lived off and on there. Uh, okay. in Houston in 2011. So I do consider it my hometown. I grew up most of my life there. Wow. Very cool. Um, Haley Lieber, I hope I'm saying that right. Says hi from your niece and nephew in Iowa. Yeah, that's that's my sister and her kids. Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> we'll see you in a that's couple great. hours for music lesson. Oh my gosh, I love it. That's fantastic. Yeah, we've been giving and them Terry Harper is chiming in. Hi Terry, and he's saying, "Let's hear it for Texas Opera." We couldn't agree more. Mm -hmm. Um, so then I know the next little tidbit of information, I believe you told me yesterday, uh, Kyle and Alyssa, you all were married in San Antonio. Is that correct? In 2013. Yeah. Yep. We, but uh, where, where did you meet and Kyle, where are you from originally? I am originally from Iowa and, uh, kind of had the same career path as Alyssa, meaning that I did the young artist programs and then moved back in with my parents. So... <laughs> I was living at home, working at a gas station called Come and Go, all true. Yes. When I, when I got a call from Santa Fe Opera, where I had been an apprentice for a couple of years, they called me uh, and said, do you know the villains in Hoffman? Would you be willing to come down right now and cover it? They had to do some, oh my God. some cast changes. So I basically got a third summer of young artists out of Santa Fe, but I re-met Alyssa. So that's where we met and we dated a little bit long distance from our parents' basements, and then we decided this is absolutely <laughs> we should probably, you know, like be adults. So yeah, we should probably move somewhere and be in the same city if this is going to work. So that's we picked. I picked Houston yeah, and said I would love for you to join me. Yes. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. In your basement is that, is that full circle now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so I was just asking you all this just, just before we went live today. So now we've put two of the three of you together. Arthur, how did you come to be combined in this picture? Yeah, I'm definitely not married to them, so <laughs> no. don't worry. Um, no. I met Alyssa in 2018. We were doing Utah Festival Opera together, and we met on day one, and we took one look at each other and said, oh, my God, we have to know each other. And we got super close. And the rest is history. Um, I've throughout sometimes when I have little breaks on between gigs, I'll come visit them and stay for a bit. Um, I'm still doing the transit musician kind of you know nomad thing. Um, I call myself a vagabond, so <laughs> that's here you are. Um, <laughs> uh, it's we're too all bad you all have no fun together. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> And um, how, how is it? How is it that you? How is it that they are lucky to be quarantined with you, Arthur? <laughs> uh, well, we Alyssa and I were again on a gig, and in Birmingham, and due to coronavirus, it got canceled. So I said, well, "Why don't I come stay with these guys, and we can, you know, we can all keep each other entertained. We can laugh. We can make dumb videos, you know. And, and <laughs> we do a lot of cooking. Yes, we, we do. We do. I, all I do is eat here. It's it's amazing. This yeah. quarantine Fabulous. is fast. I love it. So a couple other shout outs. Uh, Sarah Beckham Turner is saying hi, friends. Love those people. Hi, friends. Hi, Sarah. I'm I'm um, happy to know what she'll text next. <clears throat> Awesome, love it. And hi, Margaret Kamen uh, from my hometown is writing and saying hello. So good to have so many people watching. And uh, Perrin Leach, I know from HGO is watching as well. Watch out for comments, gang. Um, so so just remember, remember Perrin that this is Houston, not Grand Opera because you guys do great stuff. We, we don't. don't. We don't. We don't. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, my God. I think we're you're providing necessary levity. I really do. Oh I really do. Um, so now we know a little bit about how all you met, but and we just started to dip our toes into how you're occupying your time. Do you guys any, have any thoughts on things like, oh, I don't know, Tiger King? <laughs> I, all I want to say is how lucky are are those producers and directors for that documentary to it? Amazing hit. timing. I mean, the my first God. Was. I mean, perfect timing. It is a white trash soap opera in real life, and everybody watched it. I mean, yep. those, it is. those lucky guys or gals or whoever they are. But yeah. dang, 
Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. It First was... week of quarantine is like eight hours of not thinking about <laughs> existential dread because you're like, I'm yeah. what? What's happening? Yeah. yeah. It's what is happening? Mess. And why am I still watching? And why isn't there more? I think yeah. like Verdi operas are easier to understand. <laughs> than, like, um, like Trovatore makes much more sense I than Tiger King. One hundred percent. Summarize the marriage of Figaro in four sentences easier than Tiger King. Cool. Absolutely. Yeah. That was just yeah. uh, the librettist was a mess. I, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just an amazing instance. We watched it. We loved it. We debated it. You guys listened to podcasts. Oh yeah, about we listened to a whole cooking. podcast recapping it. Yeah, it was a lot. No. And um, I'm hoping that the opera one day will come about and one hundred percent participate yes. in some way. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Houston, not Grand Opera, can always offer their premiere. Oh, we don't have on. the budget. We don't, no, yeah. we don't. We don't have a budget for a real tiger. I'm sure we have tiger leggings somewhere. Yeah, probably. One hundred percent. Oh my, my goodness. Now, okay, throwing in a hello and a yay opera SA from Bill Badger and also from Jordan Howell saying, I'm living for the blue sequin jacket. So oh. hats off to you, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I you, love it. I do, I do have a question, though. I have a question about the video. So when you guys are creating the Houston Not Grand Opera videos, who whose ideas are they? How, do you, how did you guys put those together? They're all Kyle's, I, of course. Okay, I think I'm the pro, I am the lead idiot <laughs> here, I guess. Um, He's head creative. Head creative yeah. idiot. And I don't know, I'll see something online or I'll watch a video and it'll make me think of something. And these two are probably tired of it by now, me just walking into the kitchen going, hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> mm -hmm. What if I did a video like this? And they're like, sure, why not? You know, so. <laughs> we'll bounce ideas. So yeah, he'll come up with the main idea and then we kind of like. Flush it out. It. It's fun. And yeah. then we, we do some cinematography with shots and oh yeah, yeah. yeah. we're high tech. Yeah. Yeah. We are. It's a oh team. Oh my God. I, I mean, I have to say I- bathroom Without getting the toilet in the picture. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> cinematography. Oh my God. Involved. Oh my God, it's fantastic. Okay, so apparently we could have just interviewed the jacket today. Chad <laughs> Shelton is chiming in. I'm gonna go Chad Shelton is chiming in and saying I can feel that jacket three doors away. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. And um, Marsha Albertson is saying, you're all awesome. Oh, so thumbs Marcia up for Marsha. My mom was able to tune in. My mom was able to tune in. Life is good. Oh, that's your mom. mom. Oh, I'm my so glad mom. she was able to. That's great. So gang, for everybody who's watching, we introduced you via one of these uh, Houston not so grand opera um, <laughs> videos. We've got a couple more that we can share. Before I want uh, before I do, Alan Savada is saying, I saw Judy Garland wearing that jacket. So, okay, you're in good company. Yeah, I did. Somewhere, somewhere in a past life, I saw Judy Garland wear this jacket. You yeah. may have, you may have. And Sergio is saying, great job, guys. So good feedback, everyone. Oh, good. We're, we're loved, everyone. We're loved. Yeah. <laughs> you are loved. You are, Arthur's making a splash, shall we say. Oh um, so I'd love to throw up the next video, um, but wonder if you guys want to preface it with anything. The next one that you shared with us is your spoof on an online gala. Um, oh, oh this is yeah. Thing. Yeah. We put a disclaimer uh, that you did. Was no way making fun of the Met Gala. We were inspired to be idiots by all of our amazing colleagues yes. being oh, incredible. Yeah. yeah, there were some so. amazing, amazing performances there. Oh, yeah. Ours is not one of them. Yes, <laughs> yeah. but yeah. Just, the, just the absurdity of the situation we're in and what they had to go through to put that together was right. just comical to me. All you the know, interference and, and the like. You yeah, know, it was. The fact that they pulled it off so incredibly yeah. well. It so was, we decided was to incredible. do the version that we would end up with. Yeah. <laughs> Got, well, Let's see how people feel about your version, shall oh, we? I feel like I'm on trial. I know, I know right? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <Or jury. Hello, thank you so much for joining us today for Houston Not Grand Operas, Not Grand Gala at Home. I have with us our one and only performer this afternoon, Mr. Kyle Albertson. Please join us. Afternoon. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. Literally can't go anywhere else. Well, where are you calling us from? Downstairs. You're 
it's our home. You're like upstairs. Right. Um, anyway, so uh, what will you be performing this afternoon? I'd like to sing an excerpt from Das Rheingold, uh, Wotan's entrance into Valhalla. I'll be accompanied today by Arthur Bossage. Well, um, when you get settled, please, the floor is yours. Please share your musical world with us. Thank you so much. You're One so more. welcome. Let's start that again. Kyle, Kyle, we, we talked about that this is live, right? Yeah, sure. That was just a little bit of humor. Let's keep it just start just starting. Double strip Swiffer that kills me. <laughs> it's really a song cycle. It's yeah. so cool. How else oh are you going to clean your wood floors, Francesco? Oh my God. I know I have a steamer thing too, but I, I can't like, it's, it's so close. <laughs> with the, oh my God. I like that he hit Arthur with it accidentally. Yeah, right? <laughs> Arthur with it is a violent relationship here. Yeah. At the, very, at the very end, please. Don't abuse your company. Please give us money. <laughs> please give us money. Okay, so. The Swiffer is now getting some attention, or we are saying that oh, Swiffer exclamation God. point. So maybe the best uh, prop ever chosen. I and also Andrew off. Stenson, uh, who I know a lot of us know, <laughs> a wonderful tenure, just wrote and said, bravo, ellipsis, question mark? Yeah. <laughs> Well, so I think Andrew's I think, a little bitter because one of the episodes of Houston Not Grand Opera we did was an interview with him. That, against his will that yeah. he did not participate in so i mean oh i see <laughs> uh andrew what do you want man what do you want dude oh my so you're God. providing a bit of levity and danger and and conflict into quarantine time um just like opera yeah know, right it's just like opera everything's so serious that we find ourselves trying to make people laugh because that's how we deal with stress and yeah I, like you said i think everybody needs it right now Oh, yeah. I don't think there's any harm in anyone laughing a little bit. So if it takes us acting like idiots, all right. <laughs> on the internet? Yeah. Go. <laughs> Forever and ever on end? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no big deal. Nothing no permanent. Big deal. It's our sacrifice. One day when one of us runs for office, this might be an issue, but you yeah. know. I have it all saved. Uh, all all saved on I have a lot more issues than that if I run for office. <laughs> Not if you run in that sequin jacket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The sequin jacket may just, you know, help propel you to new voting heights there, Arthur. It could be your running mate. Yeah, how can they see you with sequins in their eyes, you know? <laughs> they are everywhere. Oh my goodness. So you shared one other video, which I actually hadn't seen yet. And when Francesco and I previewed it, um, we were both it. in tears. Oh, that one. Uh, it really spoke to me just going through quarantine. Anything you all want to say to preface it? I think it speaks for itself. Yeah, it does. I think it does. I think that's fair. Okay, so without further ado, here is the last video you shared with us. <laughs> Hi. 
today at Houston Not Grand Opera, I would like to perform a song that I wrote that I feel really encapsulates all that I'm feeling during this crazy, strange, and scary time that we live in. I apologize in advance for my remedial piano skills, but uh, I hope you enjoy. I really wish there was a way that I could see everybody who's watching with us. Yeah. Because I suspect their faces are much like oh ours that I'm watching God. in the broadcast studio, just watching us all smile and oh laugh. We're God. narcissistic enough to be laughing at our I own know. work weeks we are later. So shocked and appalled at the commitment that was put into that. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> just like the, in the so. <laughs> Arit just wrote and said, love the Benny Hill theme song relating oh to all my these God. feelings. Has to be. Oh, my God. Yeah. Absolute yeah. perfect. Well, I mean, it must take... that's, that's the whole purpose, you know? So Great. It must take quite a bit of coordination to actually make all of this happen. Uh, you know, Kyle, were you like a magic movie editor and Arthur and Alyssa? I mean, how did this all come together? This one, actually, you had, you were like, ran down what was funny. We had a whole list of like, okay, let's yeah. film you doing all of these things. We're the producers. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. They, they, they uh, tamed me down because otherwise it had been yeah, like probably 10 minutes long. 10 minutes long <laughs> and me just screaming throughout the city. So, no, we just I came up with the idea because a lot of singers had taken to, uh, to social media to play songs to express themselves, which I think is great that they had the courage to do that and all that kind of stuff. And, I thought I'd do the same because that's what's going on in my head. Yeah. Including yeah. the Benny Hill music. So. Yeah, yeah, actually. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anytime so Sergio, I run, I hear Benny Hill. I'm just telling you. Sergio just wrote and said that notification about Bernie Sanders. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I can relate. <laughs> that actually was on the same day. Yeah, that was the same day. Was it really? Yeah. Oh, was, hilarious. Not Probably what prompted it. Not to go into politics, but it's absolutely what started my <laughs> idea. <laughs> You're unraveling wow. for this unraveling. one. Unraveling, exactly, yeah. Got it, got it. Well, I think it's extraordinary that you guys do this. It must be certainly giving you lots of joy and focus while we're all self-quarantined, because who knows how long this is going to continue for. Mm -hmm. Have you found other ways that uh, maybe are helpful for people that are viewing to pass time, to keep things light, to not spiral, because it's so easy? Well, I mean, I, I, first of all, we try to be funny but we're not all the time. I yeah. mean, this is, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It sucks. Um, yeah, it does. <laughs> and we've all been, you know, we've trying, all had hard days. We've all had yeah. hard days, and yeah. if we have a hard day, we take a hard day. It's it's we yeah. what we have to do to keep going. Yeah. Don't be too hard on yourself. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, 
in terms of activities, they cook. We cook a, a lot. Ton. I eat a ton. Yeah, we drink a lot of boxed wine. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. and other things. And <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I put, uh, I've been playing video games online with friends, which I haven't ever done until this quarantine. So I've been able to reconnect with old friends and it's been a lot of fun. And I, I, I think I've talked to more friends oh. in the last two months than I probably would have if we weren't in this situation, thanks to, thanks mm -hmm. to Zoom. Yeah. Um, Which I didn't know existed before. That. I know. So, I don't think yeah, I have either. Yeah. Yep. And it's been nice <laughs> to be able to talk to like our friends overseas and friends who, family. yeah, we family and people we haven't seen in years. And uh, like all of these connection apps are, are kind of a, a godsend yeah. in a way. Yeah. yeah. We, we talk even more. So that I've been grateful for that. Yeah. Great. Alan says, please, no boxed wine. <laughs> that well, might speak to Alan's universe versus right? yours. <laughs> Listen, we have a budget. <laughs> <laughs> we drink out of a bag. That's all we can afford. Right. Oh, we my drink God. We drink out of a bag. Yeah. So, you know, certainly what you're working on here is uh, getting creative juices going. There's no doubt about that. Do you find yourself shifting more in the avenue of the creative and fun outlet of this world? Are you also feeling drawn? I guess I'm asking because the three of you are together, two vocalists and a pianist. Are you working on music? Are you studying? Are you practicing? Or are you like, you know what? We're just going to like put that to bed for a little while. I've been practicing because the piano's in my room. I don't want to get too rusty. And just, it's a little time for me to, you know, play some things that are fun. Yeah. Maybe some things that I've wanted to enjoy, you know, maybe some operas that just I need to learn because they're going to be around. Mm -hmm. He's the only one who's being a good musician, I should yeah. say. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've pulled out some stuff and I've looked at it. You've sung a little bit, but we were, to me, singing comes from being inspired and writing. Yeah inspiration's not there for me, and I think that's fine. Totally okay. Mm -hmm. and, Agreed. Um, I think a lot of what I just want to get out is I want to make people laugh. Like, I enjoy being an entertainer. I think we all do. So, honestly, not to – I think we do it about 50% for ourselves and 50% for everyone else because yeah, mm -hmm. it might make someone smile, and we hope that's the case. But in terms of straight opera, it working does. hard, I'm not that guy. I'll be very honest. And yeah. the energy, it will be, but – Yeah. <laughs> the energy from coming together with your colleagues and creating something – yeah. It's so unique and special, and when that's taken away, I mean, it really, I was not inspired to sing at all, honestly. Mm -hmm. And a few times I have, I feel so much better, so I should probably tune into that. But I think everyone, everyone mm. needs to be nice to themselves and realize mm -hmm. that it is an emotional thing, and we have had this world <laughs> ripped away from us really quickly, and it's and we don't know when it's going to come back. And yeah. there's a real sense of, there's a real sadness to that. Um, that I think we have mm -hmm. to embrace and be honest about, but we will figure out a way to come back. We just don't know what it looks like. Yeah. So yeah. I think We're, people should sing when they feel like they can, and it's okay if they can right now. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah, I agree. Yeah, people are gonna wanna, singers are gonna wanna perform, audience members are gonna wanna come see a show. We don't know when that'll be or how that'll look. So in the meantime, we'll do like this, I think. Mm -hmm. Things like this are serve as, serve a great purpose for us to sit here and talk and laugh. God, God yeah. forbid you laugh in this yeah. situation, you know. And yeah. So we love it. This honestly, this is the first time I'm going to sing publicly besides those videos where I sing two measures. So when it falls apart, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> we like, will support no matter what. Live theater. Andrew Stenson is chiming in saying, Kyle, what are you playing? I think you may have just answered that, but if not, Andrew, let me know. Oh, and, and, oh he's talking video games probably. Oh, uh, you might. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's exactly what he's talking about. Yeah. I'm playing yeah. Red Dawn Redemption and um, what was it? Uh, uh, Gears 5 with some friends, Andrew. So, well, we can figure something out. <laughs> Maybe we should not do this when I'm being interviewed on the internet, Andrew. Thanks. <laughs> Wow. I think it's good. I mean, I was just having a me, Andrew, Andrew, Andrew. <laughs> no, it's all good. I was just having a conversation last night with my family about how to provide um if this makes sense, mental engagement but distraction at the same time in a way that doesn't feel work oriented but as a release and video games came up with my mom who's probably watching. Hi Susie Meeker. She said, "Why don't you try something, you know, don't run out and buy an Xbox, but try something that might distract you." And she was right. 
Um, Becky Mercado is saying, so wonderful to see y'all. Alyssa and Kyle, hi. Arthur, hi. You don't know me, but I know you. <laughs> so you guys are continuing to shout out. I'm sorry, uh, Becky Mercado. Oh, oh. oh. Sorry, mom. oh there you go. Shout out to Mom Mercado. Um, Corey Vick says, and Jack Box Games. Um, yes. Hello to all to all of you. Oh yes, oh, uh, yeah. we play Jack Box games on Zoom calls with our friends, which are absolutely hilarious. Not to give a plug. I don't know what that is. Can somebody fill me in because maybe either. our viewers need to know something fun that's going on. They're kind of like board games that you can play online. I think it's the easiest yeah. way. There's uh, ones that's games that are similar to like Cards Against Humanity, Apples versus Apples. There's uh, trivia, trivia, there's, um, murder mystery type. I mean. And you it's just all, like get into a you all sign into one room and like you have a and you can you play know, on your yeah. phone. Yeah, right. you see it on your screen and you can still see it's, all the people on the Zoom and you play together. It's yeah. it's really fun. Yeah. Wow. We brought the Mr. Bix brought that to a Zoom call we had and we laughed for hours. So we had a great time. Oh great. Corey is saying Maybe. I should join you. So maybe I'll take you all up on that at some point. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And yeah. also uh, Lino <laughs> is saying un carro saluto dall'Italia and Kevin Lino. Miller is saying hi everyone. <laughs> hi. <laughs> my cousin Lino. Ciao Lino. Is that your cousin? <laughs> That's my cousin Lino. <laughs> Yay. I love that we have so many friends and family and colleagues oh, watching along God. today. That's fantastic. That's all we have. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Um, so I, okay, so what we've been doing, you guys know this, most of the folks who are, are watching us know this, what we've been trying to do when we're working with folks at their production uh, interviewees that we're talking about bringing in materials to show what part of their process is. And if we're working with singers, we're hoping to share something inspiring from our homes to everyone's homes who are watching. I love that when we were having this conversation with all of you, you guys continued with that theme of, you know, can we present something that stays um, light and positive and fun? So, you know, I know that was a, a fun uh, conversation. Francesco, Kyle, Alyssa, and Arthur, can you give a little background into choosing uh, the piece you're going to be sharing with us today? <laughs> well, Strange <laughs> not a lot of repertoire for contralto and bass baritone. What? Yeah. I just I feel that like we should expand on that. I really do. Right. Any composers <laughs> watching? Yeah. Tiger King the Opera will have all contralto and bass baritone. Carol Bastian is a perfect. One hundred percent. Um so that always puts us into like uh, a little bit behind the eight ball when we choose duets to do. There's like two. Yeah. And there's like two. We the Sweeney Todd duet, the you know, worst or um uh, a little bit of little breeze. Yeah. We do that when we have to do do or have to, when we do duets together, but that seemed a little bit so long. It's so long, and since we're just, I love it, but we want to do it together. Anyone watching who wants to produce it? Pimp. No, no, no. <laughs> we're a package deal. But we decided since you brought up the Houston not grand opera silly videos and everything, and we thought, well, let's just go whole hog on that. And so we want to sing for you guys uh, the song that goes like this from Spam a Lot. Fabulous. Nothing but well, why don't you all get set up to be ready? Ooh. And uh, I'm so thrilled that you just happened to be quarantined together so that you've got a live pianist with you. How fabulous. Oh. This is pretty darn amazing. Yeah. It is pretty darn amazing. I right? think we're, we're lucky to have such bright spirits with us today, for sure. And I mean, really, the getting dressed up is extraordinary, you guys. I mean, it's an excuse to put on some real clothes right. and to, I don't take, have, to take my muumuu -moo off. I don't have real clothes. I love it. So, Francesca, you know, I'm going to pull you and I out of the feed for a minute so everybody can see our fabulous trio up close. And then when you all uh, are finished, I'll, I'll merge us all back together. Sound good? Fabulous. Great. So then when you are ready, take it away. Oh, good Lord. Okay. okay. Here, we right. go. Here we go. Here we go. Here goes something. All right, shall we? Oh, yes. um, sure. Okay. <laughs> Once in every show there comes a song like this. It starts off soft and low and ends up with a kiss. Oh, where is the song that goes like this? Where is it? Where? Where? A sentimental song that casts a magic spell. 
they are will of the Lord will overact like hell. For this is a song that grows like this. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Now we can go straight into the middle eight, a bridge that is so far for me. I sing it in your face while we both embrace, and then we'll change the key. Now we're into it. Oh, that's awfully high for me. Everyone can see we should have stayed in D. For this is a song that goes like this. I'm feeling very proud. You're singing far too loud. That's the way that this song goes. You're standing on my toes. Singing a song. That goes alive. I can't believe there's more. It's far too long, I'm sure. That's the trouble with this song. It goes on and on and on. For this is a song that is so long. Jesus Christ. You are the who is singing this too good. Was that you on porn? To stop this damn reprieve! Before we go insane, the song always ends like Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you guys, you're fabulous. Really and truly. Oh my God. I, I mean, I know I have my friends Jeff and Buck here, but I quite wish I could be quarantined with the three of you because it seems like a party. Oh my it God. Is so days. fabulous. Some days. Some days. Some days. So fabulous. Um, so, oh, we got a lot of comments coming in. Um, Abby Cross, and just before you started, said, Love this song. Great choice. And then followed it up with a bravi. Sarah Becca Tur Beckham Turner is saying, wow, guys. <laughs> Sammy Serrano is saying, amazing job. Aww. I think, you guys, what you're doing is really speaking to levity that I just feel like everybody needs the chance to breathe and smile, and, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. I agree. We, yeah, Thank we you, feel that oh, yeah. Yeah. It's so oh. fabulous. Oh, so great. I'm glad that we chose that. And I, you know, now I do feel we have a challenge to composers to be able to do more repertoire specific for your voices. I'm Absolutely. so ashamed. Only, <laughs> bring it on, please. Only if I can bring my Swiffer. I'll, yeah. I mean, um, in this era of COVID, it's gotta be clean, gotta That's be clean. Right. Okay. So is that going to be like Kyle's new go-to prop? Like this may become an internet thing <laughs> where it's just over. infamous. This one leans over when you said to get the, you're, you're like, you can get the room ready so we, you can present your song. Alyssa leans over and goes, get the Swiffer. <laughs> she apparently was very right. This is very right. right. Swiffer you know, might need its own PR person after this. I mean, it's, it's the final part of the quartet. Really. Yeah, really, yeah, it is. We are going to get some sponsorship from Swiffer, so. Right. <laughs> there you go. And I think it's color coded like the rest of you are. Where it, it too yeah. is in purples and blues. It was. Oh, it was. Oh, so it dressed for the occasion. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fabulous. Oh my gosh, I love it. Uh, Becky Mercado has chimed in and said, so fabulous, bravi. <laughs> and Anne Craven Yeoman has said, love the song and the laughs. Uh, Sergio is giving us lots of applause signs. Oh, so you guys, like, know. knocking it out of the park on fun, smiling, the fun, smiling factor for today. That's yeah. great. That's good. Thank you guys so we much. Then we did something semi right. Yeah. yeah. We did something right on Friday. It's Friday? Friday? Is it Friday? It is Friday. Friday. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, thank you so much for, for joining us today, gang, and for getting oh, dressed pleasure. up and for making good use of your Friday afternoon. Um, and thank you also to everyone who's been following and enjoying uh, our interview series. We're doing them weekly beyond the production. And uh, you guys might be the, the runaway hit. Becky's <laughs> saying, keep the Swiffer. 
I don't know if that means like keep it with me for all interviews or if you guys should just keep it from here on out. But yeah, either way, I think we'll Clippers we'll is a send you one, Lauren, so you can have one for all the rest of the interviews. Yeah. You know, it, but I might have to get my hands on one. If That's you can hang it off the antlers of the deer behind you, yes, I'm just across. saying across it. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'll oh embrace the Texas and the Swiffer. I think that's a great plan. Oh my God. Well, thank Thanks you so my, much, Francesco. Thank you, as always, for joining us. Thank you, Kyle, Alyssa, and Arthur. And everyone will be back with a new series of guests uh, next week, Friday, same time, 12 noon uh, Central Time. And we look forward to seeing everyone then. This was so Thanks, fun. Awesome. Was totally fun. Thank you guys. Have a lovely afternoon, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.